Hello, welcome to Script 3 Printing. In this video, I'm gonna fix the K2 Plus again. The extruder is just crazy. Let's scratch today's troubleshoot. I'm gonna put a clip right here. Yo, look at this, this is crazy. I was printing with TPU and it was clogged, right? I then went to my screen right here and pressed extruding right here. Manually extrude it out and look at what happened. Look at that, the film is coming out. <laughs> the filament is coming out from the side. Okay, I'm gonna have to record the other way. Look. The filament is coming out from the side. That is so crazy. This is the first time I experienced this. <laughs> Look at that. I'm gonna retract and see what happened. Ah, the filament is going back. <laughs> I'm gonna extrude now. And the filament is coming out. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking crazy. I'm gonna have to un unclog this. That was pretty weird for me. That's the first time that has ever happened to me. I have seen many posts on Reddit online, people having this issue, but I never really experienced it myself. Up until right now, I was trying to make a model and print it with this TPU, and it just did that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go over to the K2 Plus, show you guys how to, you know, address this problem, how to fix it. Okay, here we are on the K2 Plus. As you can see right here, <laughs> the filament came up and then to the extruder and then it just came onto the side. This is just Maker TPU 64D. But let's just take this off and see what is actually happening inside. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is crazy. How did this even came up from the side? Wow, look at that. Oh, there's so many stuff in there. One thing I hate about this extruder is that you cannot adjust the tension right here. Any extruder out there, there's like a screw that you can turn and adjust it, but for the K2 Plus, you can't do that. But anyway, let's just take out these two screws and just take out the extruder. With those three screws removed, we can just pop this front cover off. Oh, you know what? Unfortunately, we can't do that. Some of the filament is still inside the heat sink. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna remove the tube up here. I'm just gonna remove the tube and just pull the filament back. Loosen the tension and just try to pull the filament back if I can. Oh gosh, this is a lot harder than I thought. I have an idea. I'm gonna cut the filament. Yes, I'm gonna cut the filament by pushing this thing all the way over here. Oh, there we go. Whoa, look at all of this. There's many, many um, filament in here. And many of you guys told me that. Um, metal extruder isn't the best because exactly like this it grinds the filament it grinds on the filament and then it leaves like small filaments inside of this extruder here which is not good in my opinion i don't know maybe i might switch back to just plastic i guess that's why companies just use normal plastic gear right instead of metal gears like these so this is exactly what happened the filament went here right and then it just keep extruding this way and eventually it just came out this way which is really weird oh my gosh oh the spray almost pop out i gotta be very careful with that i gotta be very careful i'm gonna try and pull this one thing i think i can do is just pop this out i'm just gonna do that it's fine i can try to get the spring back just don't lose it Ugh. oh that's what happened look at that look at that that's what happened it's just curled down there and then it just cannot extrude and i have no idea i have no idea how this even gets in here that is so weird so let's just pull this out and pull out the filament i'm just gonna cut this and then just pull this little piece out there we go okay this still spins very nicely okay i solved the problem so you know what i'm gonna put it back so to put this back right you just do it the way that you take it out okay got this in just kind of force it in and now we're just gonna be putting this um cover back to test this we can kind of use our inlet wrench and just try to spin this and we can as you can see this thing is spinning and looks like filament are coming out right now Whoa, it's coming out very nasty, very bad. Are you working on a project and don't have the power to power that project? Well, here I am. Scratch 3 battery, it ranges from 1S, 2S, 3S, and all the way to 4S. 
battery pack 18650 high quality pack from scratch 3 battery if your project requires all types of battery i got you covered all types of connection i got you covered all the way from xt60 to jstxh 2.54 millimeter jstxm dean connectors all types of connector balance charger anything you need scratch 3d battery have it link will be in the description down below on my ebay store oh there we go at least it was not like very hard i just need to pull out the filling back and now the extruder is working again so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be putting a piece of paper next to the tensioner of the gear so that it put less strain on the filament and hopefully that's gonna work like i said it's really annoying that they don't have a screw tensioner you can loosen or tighten the screw which is not good in my opinion but hey it is what it is but I'm gonna be doing that if you enjoyed this video leave a like on this video subscribe to the channel because more amazing videos like this is coming if you haven't yet become a member of the youtube channel it helps me tremendously and as always keep on 3d printing